Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name's Katie and if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back. First I want to just really briefly apologize for the frogginess in my voice. I am overcoming a cold. Uh, please bear with me as we get into today's video. I actually am really, really, really excited about what I get to share with you all today. This is a special release that Diamond Art Club is doing tomorrow. Wednesday, May 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And Diamond Art Club knows how much we love collecting all of the things, right? It's a problem. <laughs> so they have decided to launch a whole new collection all at once, all on the same day from the fantastic artist Roy Trin or Roy the Heart or Roy the Art. Um, and you guys, I'm so excited. What I have to share with you all today for my sneak peek is Scorpio. Look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a square draw diamond painting kit, 51 by 71 centimeters. And this is misspelled. I just realized <laughs> Scorpio. Scorpio. We know what that's what it means. Um, so if you haven't guessed already, Diamond Art Club is launching a Zodiac collection from this artist. They are all going to be in the same style of these witches and they all have this like white background. Um, there's a lot of different color schemes and a lot of different themes that go with the respective different astrological zodiac signs. Um, I am a Scorpio. I don't necessarily super closely follow the zodiac, but it's really neat that this is the exact kit that I get to unbox and share with you guys. So um, all the blue branding you see here is consistent with Diamond Art Club's Square Drill Diamond Painting Kits. If it's a round kit, it's going to be all pink. On the back, we've got info about how diamond painting works as well as the kit contents. And on the side, we have a QR code we can scan for a discount code. There's lots of discount codes everywhere. And frankly, if you're like me and you see a collection like this of literally 12 kits, which no, this does not include the the newer zodiac sign like when did they come out with that a few years back where now there's like a 13th zodiac sign and everyone's dates changed that is not included in this this is just the 12 um i think they just did the kind of standard 12 zodiac signs but anyway um if you're looking at like i'm going to get a bunch of these because i'm a collector you're going to want to use a discount code of some kind if this actually happens to be your very first purchase with diamond art club i have a discount code for 20 percent off that you're welcome to use um it is an affiliate code since i am an affiliate for diamond art club but you're not at all obligated to use it um uh, it's for 20% off though. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Um, I may make a small commission, so please don't feel obligated. I'm going to show you a bunch of different discount codes as we look at this kit. All I say is don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club because they certainly do not want you to pay full price. It looks like this kit has come with one of the older toolkits. There are a couple of different kinds of toolkits floating around from Diamond Art Club right now. I don't think that they're even advertising the newer toolkits just yet, but whichever one you get, it's going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. This older toolkit uh, comes with a basic pen and squishy to make it a little more comfy to diamond paint. We've got a tray or a boat. We also have a pair of pointy tweezers. These uh, only come with square drill diamond painting kits. If you get a round kit, it will not come with tweezers. We have a couple of plates of pink heart wax. These got a little squished in that bag, but they are still gonna work just fine. Keep in mind that there is a thin plastic film on either side of the wax. Make sure you peel that off before you try to load your pen or it is gonna give you a hard time. Yeah, that wax really got a little squished up, but like I said, it's wax, it's gonna work just fine. Uh, we also have a thin plastic multi-placer if you wanna try placing more than one diamond at once. And then we have a nice set of, uh, just a set of plastic baggies. You can use these to store leftover diamonds in, or you can even kit up into them if you would like to. We also have a small sticker sheet. I like to use this in my paper logbook. It did get a little folded in transit again. Really not a big deal. <laughs> um, but I like that this has all the information about the artwork and the artist, and it is the perfect size, like I said, to go in my paper logbook. I know some people will put this on the side of the box to sort of help organize their stash and find kits easily. Uh, and I'm sure you could find something else creative to do with it as well. 
Inside this branded plastic bag, we're gonna have the rest of our kit contents. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my gosh, Diamond Art Club's canvases are so soft, I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at that color blocking. Oh my gosh. So yeah, lots of color blocking already. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She is gorgeous. She is so striking. <laughs> so included in here, it looks okay. Yeah, it's just the packaging. Um, we have a booklet with step-by-step -step instructions. This is um, an older booklet as well. I think that usually if you get the older toolkit, you're going to get this older booklet. They, t they have really almost everything in common though. Um, a thank you note from the founder, information about how diamond painting works. You get another discount code and uh, tips and tricks. And uh, then, oh, there's not, I was gonna say, normally on the back of the newer booklets, there's a link to the mobile app. I will mention that Diamond Art Club, yes, does have a mobile app. It's really helpful for those push notifications and whatnot. Um, I recommend downloading it. It's available on like the iPhone and Android. So here we have a larger sticker sheet that has the, well, sadly misspelled name of the kit, <laughs> the artist Roy Trin or Roy the Heart. A spot to write your start and end date. Look at that beautiful artwork. You guys, if you don't already follow this artist on Instagram, you have to. His work is absolutely incredible. He has a lot of fan works that we probably won't see as diamond paintings. But um, so far we've had a couple of pieces from him, including Persephone, which was really breathtaking. Um, and I'm trying to remember if there was one before that, if that was the first one. But I love, love, love his artwork. And he has some other collections of artwork, um, similar to how like there's a whole collection of these Zodiac witches. I'm really hoping we see even more of these collections get released as well. Like I mentioned, uh, this is gonna be a square drill diamond painting kit. Scorpio is spelled correctly on the artwork, thankfully. <laughs> 51 by 71 centimeters. And then over here, we have a set of pre-cut stickers. And yes, again, a little um, messed up in transit, but thankfully that's a blank sticker. We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> um, if you like to kit up into storage containers or baggies, this makes the process go really quickly because they are already pre-cut for you. 33 colors, not shocking that there's not more than that given that like the whole background is color blocked, the same color. The color code is the same as the DMC color code used in things like cross stitch. And um, any numbers under the one number 150 though in Diamond Art Club's numbering system are gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll be sure to show those to you and explain more about them when we're actually looking at the diamonds together in just a bit. But at a first glance at these symbols, I do notice that we've got these two white dots on a dark background, three white dots on a dark background, but those background colors are different enough. I don't think we'll mix them up. I don't otherwise see any symbols that immediately jump out at me and say, you're going to mix these up. <laughs> so we will take a look at the drills together in just a bit. I'd love to show you more of the canvas first though. So you can see that it is kind of wanting to stay curled on itself here since this is a poured glue canvas. And because the canvas material is excellent quality, you can safely roll it backwards. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have self-flattening properties, so it will eventually have laid flat on its own, but I don't really feel like waiting <laughs> for the sake of this video. Um, there we go, perfect. Diamond Art Club also uses poured glue on their canvases, which also makes these safe to roll backwards. Here at the top, we have Diamond Art Club's branding. Do what makes you sparkle. The edges of their canvases are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. I really adore Diamond Art Club's canvas material. It's super, super soft and plush and velvety on the back. It's a thicker material that between, between the nice like plushness of the canvas material and the quality and thickness of the glue, it feels like you're diamond painting on a pillow. <laughs> it's really a pleasant experience. Um, but I really love their canvas material just in general because it's a really magical combination of being both very sturdy and very malleable. So it holds your drills beautifully, but it's not so stiff that it's really difficult to work on. Here at the top left, we do have a legend with all of our numbers, and we have that same legend over here at the bottom right. 
At the bottom left, we have the original thumbnail of the artwork, and we do have the name Scorpio spelled correctly on here. Uh, 51 by 71 centimeters, and then I will always and forever point this out, copyright. So Roy Trin, the artist, has not only given permission for the use of their artwork by Diamond Art Club as a diamond painting, but they're also being fairly compensated for the use of their artwork by Diamond Art Club. You'll always hear me talk about how unfortunate it is that art theft is very common in the crafting world. So I will forever and always, like I said, shout out companies like Diamond Art Club that are doing right by artists. Links to Diamond Art Club social media info. Those are the perfect places to follow along and see what new releases are coming each week. And then information about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you are covered under that warranty. So if you run into any trouble with think something like the glue quality or the canvas, or if you run out of a color in your drills or something, reach out to Diamond Art Club and they will get you taken care of. I recommend contacting their customer service either through Facebook Messenger or through their website. Look at how gorgeous she is. <laughs> Let me bring you up a little bit closer and we'll take a look at some of these symbols and see what we think of the symbol clarity. So you can see some of the different features in here. Obviously this whole background is gonna be color blocked the same light color, maybe a light pink, I think. I do have suggestions, by the way, let me talk while I show you this. Um, some suggestions as far as color blocking light backgrounds. Um, if you are like me and you see big sections of the same color like this, I look at that and go, okay, let's multi-place that. But I also look at that and go, mm, that's a really light color. Something about light colors in particular and really large areas like backgrounds that are one solid color, it is really easy for uh, multi-placing in those sections to leave really obvious lines and gaps. So I recommend, I actually have a couple of videos that are specifically, I call them multi-placing for perfectionists and I even have a squares edition. I believe I talk in that video about just some tips for um, multi-placing and helping those drills line up really, really well um, while letting you multi-place quickly and move through large sections of color blocking like that without it taking a really long time. Um, but still hopefully making it look relatively uniform. Um, one thing I think is important to keep in mind as well is that it doesn't have to look perfect, <laughs> especially even if you're planning to display your diamond painting piece. Um, tiny little gaps and imperfections that you notice when you're up very close are just not gonna be that noticeable when you pull back further away. So don't stress about it too much. <laughs> you're probably noticing it way more than anyone else would, especially once it's completed and displayed. So anyway, let's do a quick measurement and see where we're at dimensions wise. So we are looking at, we're exactly 70 centimeters tall by 50 centimeters wide. And it is listed as 51 by 71. So we're one centimeter short each direction. This is actually really consistent uh, with the past few square kits that I have unboxed for you guys. Um, they recently tightened up their drill field just a little bit on their square drill paintings. I, I contacted them and clarified this as well, um, but because their new diamonds, their new square diamonds are so consistent in size and very uniform, they're not needing to leave as much like room for error as they as they did before. So they went ahead and tightened up that drill field. So diamond painting on kits like this is an absolute dream. But because they they they're based in the US, they actually go off of inches and not centimeters, which I know most of us diamond painters, even if we live in the US, we're just used to looking at things in centimeters. Uh, but especially when you look at it in terms of inches, it's well within the margin of error. Even in terms of centimeters, it's in the margin of error. So they're not necessarily planning to change their formula for calculating. With that in mind, I do consider this to absolutely be true to size. I know that I'm getting the exact same number of diamonds that I otherwise would have. I'm just not that worried about it, <laughs> but wanted to explain that all to you really briefly. Here's our bag of drills. We have a sticker on there that tells us what kit these go with if we want to match them up later. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to hazard a guess, seeing all this pink right here, I'm guessing that's our background color. Let's find out. Okay, 
that is so pretty <laughs> i wonder if all of these kits are gonna have this light pink background color um i'm gonna have to go watch some sneak peeks <laughs> once they go up tomorrow so yes 963 this is gonna be a really this is a pale pink and this is gonna be our background color let's see how many how many bags of this we have so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 15 bags of 963, that pale pink color. And again, lighter colors like this, it can be a little trickier to multi-place with because any sort of shifts you may, you may see gaps or whatnot. So um, practice makes perfect. Don't, don't fret too much about it. But yep, that's gonna be our background color. We have one bag of 310 here. And then number 119, this is actually gonna be our first AB diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And this is this is really referring to that special, amazing, super, super sparkly and glimmery iridescent coating that's on the tops of these diamonds. Just like the Northern Lights have this really shimmery color shift effect, that's, that's what these diamonds have been named after, is that color shift. So the areas that these have been charted, they're gonna draw your eye to them. They're gonna highlight those areas on the paintings and it can just really beautifully elevate and enhance a painting. I'm gonna point out all the AB diamonds to you um, as we're going through these and then I will take some time after this to point out to you where those are charted on, these can on this canvas. We have a couple of like smaller sets of diamonds here. And then, let's do this one next. This is a different shade of pink than the background, <laughs> maybe for some shading. Uh, a couple of bags of this pretty burgundy. Some more purples. Ooh, that is a. Okay, so this will be interesting. Um, these two bags both have. A different color mixed in with them so what I'm gonna do is there's some in here as well it's almost like I think it was from this color okay so three three seven one I'm seeing a little bit of like dark drills like a couple in here a handful in this color if there's any in with these I'm not able to tell because it would be so um yeah there's a couple in that as well most noticeable in these two bags those will be really honestly okay is this inconvenient yes is it a big deal no <laughs> let me explain why so uh since it is such a different color from these i think that's going to be really easy to sort out however if i did not want to try to have to mess with um sorting these colors out i know that all i have to do is contact diamond art club probably send them some pictures, send them this video and just let them know, hey, there's some color mix ups here. And especially like with these colors, I can say I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference and pull the right colors. I think that they would send me replacements and it would not be a big deal. And if I am, I would maybe be slightly worried that I don't, I'm not sure that, you know, am I gonna have enough of this 3371? That's what that lifetime warranty is about. Like this does not even cause me any real stress because um, I know that affiliate or not, all I have to do is comment, contact Diamond Art Club's customer service and they're gonna make sure that this is taken care of. So I'm also pointing out to you that just because I get sent sneak peeks, I don't get special treatment. I'm getting a kit from the warehouse just like the rest of you guys are. So not a big deal, you guys. Diamond Art Club will handle it. <laughs> Here's our second AB, number 124. I love this AB so much. It's actually pretty subtle. You've got that color on the top. And then we have some reds and pinks and more purples. Oh, I really like these colors a lot. I look at the artwork and I, I initially think like, oh, this is gonna be kind of like darker or whatever. I don't tend to necessarily always reach for kits with witches in them, but this is just really, really pretty. I like it. Here's our third AB number 141. This is a white AB. It is very commonly used by Diamond Art Club. It's such a beautiful neutral. And then I was like, we have to have one more here. Sure enough, there's a, just one straggler in that one. Not a big deal. 132. This beautiful tangerine light orange color is our fourth and final AB. 
Yeah, there was there's a little bit of like mixing happening here because I see a couple of purple stragglers in there too. Millet Diamond Art Club, we're like, double check your machines, my friends. <laughs> they are too busy cranking out all these kits for the big anniversary release weekend. <laughs> so we're gonna start here at the bottom. Um, I do like how they actually made sure that we could read the Scorpio. Uh, but let's look at where those ABs are gonna go. So we have the number two, which is the really pale pink AB. We have all through, these are like some transparent sleeves that she's wearing on her arms. And so there's a lot of the pink AB kind of through those. There's uh, the same pink AB over here on this side, which again, again, I think this is supposed to be like that really sheer, beautiful, like, um, it's almost like she's got a cold shoulder top going on, uh, sleeves of like kind of what she's got going on, maybe her cloak. And then I want to make sure I'm not going to miss any. We have that beautiful white AB kind of creating the sparkles here in her crystal ball and some more magic sparkles from that white AB kind of dotted throughout. So it kind of gives this magic effect. If you look at the original artwork, look at the sparkles that are happening kind of throughout here. We have white AB that's that's really making that actually feel like it's sparkling. Here we have some of the orange AB. Again, this is where we have, this is actually the constellation Scorpio that we have going on here. You can see it's really faint in the original artwork, but there's this star, the, these stars that are wrapped around her that again, that's the constellation. And the stars on here each seem to have some of that orange AB. And then I wanna make sure I'm not missing any as we keep going up. Ooh, so sorry to bump you. Oh, I did. I, I was like, where is that purple AB? There's got to be some of it down here. Sure enough. Uh, so we do have some of the purple AB doing some a little bit of highlighting, little bits of it here. I think this is, is this like her cloak or kind of her dress or just kind of the background behind her. There's some of the purple AB. This is kind of leaves of these plants behind her. A little bit of the purple AB here. Purple AB on the underside of the crystal ball, giving it some extra sparkle and a little bit of purple AB highlighting here. As we keep moving up, thankfully I'm not seeing any ABs in her skin tones. That's a personal preference of mine. <laughs> we have some of the orange ABs here in this amazing gold hoop earring, just doing a little bit of highlighting. Again, more of the white ABs doing some sparkle throughout here, as well as the uh, Scorpio sign on her forehead is all white ABs. A little bit of the purple AB, this is her hair. Um, and it's doing some highlighting kind of throughout her hair very lightly. And then I think once we get up towards the top, there's a little bit of the white AB here in these little like accent leaves coming off here and a little dot of white AB over here, a little bit of purple in just a tiny bit highlighting some of these leaves of this flower in her witch's hat. But I think that that is it. So you guys, isn't she so beautiful? Um, I am already eyeing a couple of the other Zodiac witches from this collection that are personal favorites of mine, <laughs> just because I love how beautiful the art style is. I adore Roy Trin's art style so much. Like I said, I'm really, really hoping that we get to see more of his collections. Um, I'm thrilled that they've decided to go ahead and release all 12 of his Zodiac Witch collection. I will link to, I think the easiest way to look at it is he has an Etsy, the artist has an Etsy shop shop where he sells prints of these um, and there's one listing that like has them all together in one panel and you can take a look at that like I said Diamond Art Club is planning to release all 12 of these Zodiac kits tomorrow which again is Wednesday May 4th which by the way may the 4th be with you <laughs> and they'll be releasing at 9 a.m pacific time or noon eastern time um Keep an eye out. I believe that my fellow sneak peek content creators um, will be sneak peeking the rest of these Zodiac kits as well. So feel free to look for yours. Or if you're like me and you're like, I just really, really love, like for me, I really love the Libra and the Sagittarius. Um, I think I'm gonna pick those up for myself as well, just because I adore the art style so much. And I think that it would work up pretty quickly given like this huge amount of color blocked background. And even like there's some good amount of color blocking in her skin and whatnot. Um, 
And I think that this art style is pretty consistent across the board. We just see a little bit of variety in colors and themes. So go and take a look. Be sure to follow this artist on Instagram and uh, make sure you have your email and text notifications on so that you can hop on these releases when they go live tomorrow. We don't know yet if any or all these are going to be limited edition, but if they are, that means that Diamond Art Club is not planning to restock them once they sell out. So be sure to pick up any that are must haves for you um, before they do sell out if that is the case. So thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with all of you guys ahead of the, the release. Thank you to you guys for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'd be happy to help and best of luck to you shopping tomorrow. If this video was helpful, Helpful for you would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out and if you're not already subscribed I would actually really love to have you I share lots of diamond painting content here and would love to have you as a part of my little community here on YouTube so feel free to subscribe you can even hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos all right my friends I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one bye mm -hmm.